Once you've made your blog site, you can start to set it up. The first thing you want to do is choose a theme and then write a new blog post. Everything else, for example, up here where it says add an about page or check privacy settings or so on, those are topics we will get to eventually. But for right now, to get you started, we'll set up your theme, get a post going. So to set your theme up, you have two ways to do that. You can either click on the blue button here that says choose your theme or customize the look of your blog. Or under appearance, you can click on themes. I'll just do that one. Here are available themes for you. Now you have to be careful. While some are free to use, for example, when you hover over this EduBlogs default theme, notice how you can customize it right away and it says it's active. If I hover over the one next to it, it says EduBlogs Pro only. This is only for those people who are paying the $40 a year and have upgraded their account. We're just going to go ahead and click on class and we are going to choose this EduBoard Classic Chalkboard. We'll activate that. Okay, once it's done activating, it'll say New Theme Activated and you can visit your site. We'll just customize for right now here under Appearance. Here's pretty much your new blog page and here are ways you can customize it. You have a site title and a tagline. I'm going to put that. Okay, bring that up. You can change the header, text color, background color. You can put up a header image if you want to. You can set up a background image if you prefer. We'll talk about widgets later. And for your static front page, I would just keep your latest posts. That way your students and their parents are always up to date with your latest information. I will just click on Save and Publish. Exit out. And your site is now ready for your first post.